Okay, hi everyone. It is Thursday. Thursdays for some reason. I'm super busy, but I love them. Today, I want to talk with you about, um, again, what you're manifesting in your private practice and how your private practice is a direct reflection of you. So I'm just going to keep this short and sweet today. But if you want paying clients, but you can't get a paying client, I wonder why that might be. I want to ask, are you yourself a paying client? Here's how it goes. If you want to get a client that pays you, you have to pay someone else to be their client. If you are in private practice and you're looking for all of the free things or the free and cheap things, guess what? Your clients are going to be looking for free things or free and cheap things. So being aware of your own mindset and your own inner world, your beliefs and your perceptions and your self-talk is going to be super duper important um, because I believe that whatever you believe is going to be reflected and manifested back to you in your private practice. So if you get people who start programs with you and then they drop off, ask yourself, where do I begin programs in my private practice and drop off? If you get people who say, um, oh, I think that's too expensive. Where are you in your business also resisting getting help because of your self-talk that says, oh, no, it's too expensive? Um, are you saying to yourself, you know, I want it for free? And are you attracting the clients who want it for free? If you're saying, you know, oh, look, I could go on and on and on about this. I'm so passionate about it. There's so much I want to say. But look, suffice to say, you get the idea. Um, when it comes to working with clients, when it comes to not necessarily scaling or growing your practice, but when it comes to really embodying um your, your thoughts and your feelings, your behaviours and your actions. It's so important to be aware of any inner work that you need to do because I bet your bottom dollar, without even thinking about it, you're causing things to happen uh, or to appear or to present themselves in your business. If you ask for, um, if your client's asking for refunds, are you, where are you, where in your life are you asking for refunds? If your client doesn't show up to an appointment, where in your business world do you commit to things and not show up do you know what I mean like there's mirroring and mirroring is a real thing <laughs> um, it happens and so I want you to um, be empowered by this video because it's going to help you unlock some insights into look what honestly could be some super simple changes that you can make and put in place to start to get um, more fulfillment in your soul-led private practice and isn't that the whole purpose like we get to do this work and I want you to feel fulfilled by it and joyful and happy and filled up and loving it and um, yeah this is an invitation to you to sit down at some point over the next few days honestly with yourself and say okay what's going really well and what am I seeing that I would like to improve and really allow yourself to dive deep into that and ask yourself uh, how's this showing up in actually my life too where am I doing these things um, or where am I not doing these things um, and Put it on yourself to make some change in your world first. And I bet you anything, um, quicker than you know it, you're going to start to see changes and results in what's happening in your private practice. So that's just a tip from me to you. As I said, my stuff's not for everyone. I come from a masculine, feminine energy framework, very spiritual framework. This is what my videos are based in. This is where they come from. And always, um, it's my highest intention to deliver you resources, insights, um, be transparent, be in integrity, so that you can see what private practice can be like, truly, um, if you approach it in these kinds of ways. So 
hope this was really helpful for you. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts too. Have a wonderful Thursday and I'll see you next time. Bye.